Once you understand the fundamental concept of pixels, then you're ready to move on and look at the equally fundamental concept of resolution. So I'm here in Photoshop, I have my image, and I'm going to go to the image menu at the top, and I'm going to choose image size. So again, the image menu, image size. This is a very important little area of the program. Here's what, in a nutshell, what's going on here. Photoshop is giving us the basic information about our image and also allowing us to make some changes. So we can see here in pixels what our image is. It's 861 pixels wide and 620 pixels high. We also see the document size and width and height in terms of inches. And the key here is resolution. That's the magic number here. And basically what resolution means is how tiny the pixels are. Or more specifically, how many pixels can you fit in an inch? Now, the default for all screen displays, if you're going to go out to a mobile device or a TV screen website, the default resolution that you'll want to use is 72 pixels per inch. Now, this is not sufficient if you were going to print. For print, you would want a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. So when we look at this image, it says by default that the width is about 12 inches and the height is about 9 inches almost eight and a half, we'll say. And so we might say, that's great. That's a big size. But if we were to print this, it would look terrible because the resolution is only 72 pixels per inch. The squares and the little squares here, the pixels that make up this image would be far too big and it would just look terrible. So we could then take the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. That's great, right? It made our width and our height get way bigger and now we could print it, correct? Well, not really. And the reason why that won't really work is because Photoshop would be stretching this and adding more pixels in, but it's not going to be clear and sharp as it would have been had you had it at its original size. So it'd be like blowing it up. It would definitely get softer and lose some of its clarity. So I'm going to take the resolution back to 72 pixels per inch. What I'm going to do is uncheck resample image. Resample image gives Photoshop permission to scale up or scale down your image. And we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna keep my resolution, or actually I'm gonna change it to 300, but making sure that resample image is unchecked. So when we do that, because Photoshop does not have permission to resize our image, it's just changing the resolution, it changes the inches so that actually the width, the true width and height for this image, if we were going to print it, is only a meager 2.87 inches by two inches. So if we were gonna print this image, this is the best we could get it to look, or this is the biggest we could get the image to print and still look good. Now I'm actually going to reset this dialog box. I want to basically clear out all my settings because I have kind of filled with a lot of stuff here. I don't actually have to close this and open it back up again. If I hold the option key on the Mac or the alt key on the PC, we get a little magic secret here. Watch the cancel button. If I hold the option key or the alt key on the PC, it turns into a reset button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click reset, reset all of my settings here. And one other thing that I wanted to show you that I use all the time is right here where it says inches. These are basically units of measurement. You know, we have points and picas and centimeters and stuff, but a real cool one is percent. So oftentimes what I'll do is I'll say, well, I actually want this image to be half size. I might wanna put a version of it on the web and so maybe I'll make this 50%, resample the image, and now my image is a much smaller 431 pixels by 310 pixels. So that's another thing that you can use. And then once you're ready, you can go ahead and click OK. And we'll notice that Photoshop then shrinks our image to half of the size. Understanding image resolution, especially as it pertains to print resolution, can be a tricky subject. But it's really important that you are aware of that dialog box so that if you are to print, or even if you're going to save for the web, that you don't have any sudden changes that kind of throw you for a loop. 